Section 3. Welcome to Welcome Portal. Now let's get started with the Welcome Portal which is new unified interface for all consumers, power users, authors and administrators. In this section we have three videos. First video we will familiarize with Welcome Portal. Next we will talk about where is the Report Studio gone. And lastly we will create your first dashboard. 3.1 Welcome Portal. Now you have subscribed for the free trial of Cognos Analytics in cloud. So let's not wait anymore and just get on with the play. In this video, we will look at Welcome Portal, locate Team Contents and My Contents, and check out Recent List and Search Options. Now onwards, you can access the Cognos directly using this link cognosnext.bi.ibmcloud.com If you have Cognos server locally on your desktop or laptop or if you have access to one in your organization then you will have to use different URL to access it. You can get in touch with me if there is any confusion with that. So I am going to use this link to open my Cognos cloud instance. When the page loads, click on Sign into Trial and then pop in the user ID and password for IBM Portal. So, this is Welcome Portal, your gateway to analytics. And let's talk about what Welcome Portal is. Whether you are a report user who just wants to find and run some report, or you are an author who wants to create report or dashboards, or you are an administrator who wants to maintain Cognos services, this Welcome Portal is your place to start with. If you are already using Cognos 8 or 10, then you might be familiar with the term Connection Portal. In those versions, Connection Portal was your main gateway to enter into Cognos and it looked a bit like SharePoint site with folders and subfolders. However, with latest and greatest version 11 of Cognos, Connection Portal is replaced with this Welcome Portal. Notice that my Cognos in Cloud Welcome Portal is showing that the version is currently 11.0.6. .6. It could be quite handy to know which version you are on. On the top left, we see four areas which allow locating existing content. By existing contents, I mean existing reports, dashboards, etc. that are either created by yourself or by someone else in your organization. When someone creates dashboard for the consumption of larger audience, that person would have saved it in team content, which you can access by clicking on this button. As you can see, someone has already created a folder called Cognos Analytics Workshop here. And if I click on it, I see that there are further subfolders inside. Please note that you can only see the folders that you have permissions to see. So there could be many other folders here for shared consumptions, but you will not see them until you are given access to it. The second button here is called My Content. My Content is your own area where you can save your dashboards and no one else can see it. Typically, you will save all your dashboards here while you are working on them, making changes and improvements. When you are completely happy with the dashboard, you will then move it out into team content and place it into appropriate folder for distribution in your enterprise. Right now, your My Content may be completely empty. And as we go along in this video course, you will be creating dashboards and other contents here. A nice feature in Welcome Portal is called Recent List, which can be accessed by clicking on this fourth icon. Such feature was not available in previous versions. This will show you recently accessed dashboards and reports. So if you have built many dashboards or if you have access to many artifacts in team contents like sales reports, balance sheet, team dashboards, quarterly and annual reports, then the ones that you have recently accessed can be quickly found here and you don't have to look for them again in the folders and subfolders. However, 
The best part of content area is this search functionality, which is the topmost icon on left. When you click on it, it allows you to basically type in one or many words. And as you type any word or set of words and hit enter, Cognos will search through not only the names of the reports and dashboards that you have access to, but also the tables and column names within those dashboards and in the specification of the reports. And it will present you with the list of matching items. Not only that, you can save the searches to save your time in future. For example, I've saved a search called America Golf here. When I click on it, Cognos is going to search through the reports and dashboards and it is telling me that there is this dashboard called Sample Dashboard which has America and Golf words into it either in column names or somewhere in the specification. If the search has returned you very long result and you want to further filter them on the report type, you can do that by clicking on this button called narrow your search and you can then pick which type of objects do you want to search. I think this is a brilliant feature which was lacking or kind of hidden in the previous versions of Cognos. So let's summarize what you have learned in this video. Cognos BI is now rebranded as Cognos Analytics since version 11. So you will often hear the term Cognos Analytics instead of Cognos BI version 11. With Cognos Analytics, our good old Cognos portal is gone. Instead, users are greeted with Welcome Portal where they can locate the contents. Public folder and my folders are now replaced with team contents and my contents. But all the security aspects behave almost the same as before. 